I'm doing a very quick video on a TX R1000. I've got a TX 1230 or 1250 or something like that sitting on the shelf behind me, but I'm trying to go through and get rid of a lot of reel to reels that I just don't have any desire to restore because the price isn't too high to restore them compared to just selling them as is. It's $50 compared to $35 or $40 with a $15 belt kit and making next to nothing or nothing. So I'm not going to put my time and effort into servicing reel-to-reels that just don't have much value. But I am looking to get rid of them and there are going to be some very good deals. So, let's start off with this. As you can hear, it's a little bit of a noise. Needs a little oil in the capstan bearing. The bots need just a bit of cleaning. And the um, heads, for some reason, it's not erasing properly. Basically, I'd like to sell this for $50 as is. Um, it does play, but there's no volume on the meter. It does record, but it doesn't erase. Sorry about the camera angle there. I'm looking at this, not looking at the camera itself. It does play. All the dust from these machines just a little. <laughs> Those fast forward right there. This is actually surprisingly one of the fastest fast forward machines I have. It just takes off like a rocket and goes through a tape real quick. Counter does work. That's a good thing. Stop it. The race uh, rewinds. So basically the only problem is it doesn't erase, uh, it does record, lots are dirty, and something wrong with the meter. Need some oil, the inputs and outputs are fine, dummy plug still there, power cord is included, it's the original TIAC one. Get your seal number plate, and controller is pretty good. Not hard or anything like that. It's a nice machine if somebody wanted to restore it. They really would be a good candidate for restoration. It's nice, it's got four heads. One for rewind, or rewind, reverse, I mean. One for reverse, one for record, one for replay. One for your race. I don't know if you can see a heads there. Pretty good machine. It's got some cool features on it. But I've got the Akai over by my computer. And that works good for transferring. I've got the Pioneer up in the rack. And uh, I've still got the VIF, the Tapathons, and you know, such. So, you know, uh, now that I just picked up four new reel-to-reels, uh, this doesn't really have a place. Actually, five new reel-to-reels. I'd rather have the Ewer than this machine. So the Ewer is much lighter. The Ewer is not three-motor. This is three-motor. It's three-motor, four-head. It's automatic reverse. So it's actually quite a high... Um, not high quality, but high accessory. Uh, it is a high quality reel-to-reel, -reel, but compared to most others, but it's mainly high accessory reel-to-reel. -reel. It's a nice reel-to-reel. -reel. Doesn't have the front, but does have the case. That's about it. I can tell you. <laughs> I thought about originally I bought them, and I was going to restore them and replace the belts, and then I got. You know, 
machine such as that, which need a lot of repair. I did see Philips preamplifiers for those machines come up May 15th for sale. I missed those. I wish I would have bought those um, because I would have had some more help possibly on those as I would have been able to look at more preamps and understand how to work on the ones I have for these. Um, so yeah, I've got to repair those. I've got to restore the brush sound mirrors. That Sony right there. I have to go back through and fix the capstan motor. I bought a new one for it. And the new one's squealing just as bad as the old one is. The VIF still works good. tape that one works good. <sighs> I haven't even had time to use my um, Ampex ATR or my good Pioneer 707 for a long time. Haven't had time to work on the Ampex 354 either. So I gotta get rid of this. That one with the wood case, I have to. I have to just install the rubber um, things and put the screws down. And then that one can go off for sale. 50 bucks each if you want them. As you can see, my computer desk is cluttered with crap I'm working on. So, hopefully if I can get these sold, I'll be able to get some funds now to purchase all the tubes for these and fix the castings and get these both going. <laughs> uh, the brush shun mirrors, I did find out that um, I swapped the tubes in them so that one's got fully working tubes, the other one is fully dead tubes. So it's going to need about $200 worth of tubes put into those. So if I can make a hundred bucks selling two, um, if I can make a hundred bucks selling two TX for you know, um, the cost to repair those, I'd be happy. I'm also listing the Pioneer RT-707. That machine has a few small faults with it. Um, I'm going to replace the tape counter on that. I bought that belt for eight bucks. <laughs> um, that will have the wood case. The only fault with it is that the head needs to be adjusted and I just, I never did that, so that was the only problem. But it does make sound, so that'll be good. I'll be hopefully selling it off for $200, which I think is a fair price with the wood case. Um, I've got a 6010, TX6010 wood case, and a TX X20 case. And I've got another one of these. <laughs> I'd like to sell the cases off for probably $100 for all three cases. I think that's a pretty fair price. Thanks for watching.